Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Ako po ay masayang masaya na kayo makasama ngayong Thursday morning devotion. Let us pray. Gracious and Heavenly Father, we praise and magnify you, my God. Forgive us of our iniquities. Cleanse our minds. Cleanse our hearts. Lord, thank you for this great opportunity again that you have given to each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, for providing our needs. Thank God for this new life, new breath that you have given to each and every one of us. O oh Lord, I commit to you this day, make it fruitful. May your words, O oh Lord, will be planted in our hearts and it bear fruits. May your Holy Spirit works powerfully, O oh God, in each and every one. May we have your message today. Thank you, Father. May your kingdom come. May your will be done on our devotion as it, as is it in heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Kumusta po ka ngayon? ngayon? Sana po ay palagi po tayong uhaw sa pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos at pagbabasa ng salita ng Diyos. Nung bata po ako, ay na-witness ko po kung paano ang mga pagans na mag-pray. Mayroon po silang mga um, paulit-ulit na sinasabi. At in between their prayers, may mga chanting na naririnig ko. So, especially kung may occasion sila. At kung sila po ay na... na nananalangin sa kanilang sinasabing God sa ating sa atin po uh, sa atin po kaya rin na tayo po uh, mga Kristiyanong naniniwala sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ano po ang sinasabi ng Biblia patungkol sa pananalangin okay so how should we pray So, basahin po natin ang ating Biblia sa Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 7. Basahin ko po dito. Ang sabi nito is, And when you pray, do not keep on babbling like pagans, for they think they will be heard because of their many words. Ito po ay tinuro ni Heso Kristo kung paano po manalangin. Kung mababasa po natin sa um, Matthew chapter 6 verse 5 to 15, ito po ay katuruan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo kung paano po tayo manalangin o kaya kung paano po yung mga disipulo manalangin. At pwede rin po applicable po ta- sa ating mga um, Christians. So, let's see. So, sabi niya kasi sa verse 5, When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites that they are standing in synagogues or on the street corners to be seen by men. But sinabi ni Jesus Christ, I tell you the truth, they have received their reward. Kasi yung mga hypocrite o yung mga tong mga taong to tinawag na hypocrite kasi gusto nilang manalangin na nakikita sila ng mga tao naririnig yung mga panalangin nila kung maalala yo yung kwento, kwento ng isang hip ng Pharisee na nanalangin na very proud pa sa kanyang sarili na talagang sa street o kaya nakatayo sa, sa the street corners para makita siya ng mga tao. So, sa so verse 7 naman, sabi niya, And when you pray, yung kaninang pinasa natin, ah, sorry, let's, back, let's go back to verse 6. When you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. 
then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Ayun po ang instruction ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo kung paano po tayo manalangin. Verse 7, And when you pray, do not keep on babbling. Ito yung pinasa natin kanina. For they think they will be heard because of their many words. At sabi niya sa verse 8, Do not be like them. Magpatuloy po tayo. So verse 9, ito po ang sinabi ni Jesus. Then, this is how you should pray. Pag na, na-memorize niyo yung uh, sinabi niya dito sa verse 9 na prayer na, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as is it in heaven. Hindi po yun ang sinabi ni Jesus Christo na, This is what you pray, kundi ang sinabi niya, This is how you pray. At yung how na yun, mga ibang, uh, kinuha ko lang sa mga ibang ministers na ginawa nilang ACTS, A-C-T-S, which is A stands for adoration, C stands for confession, T stands for thanksgiving, S stands for supplication. Which yung unang part niya is, Our Father in heaven, who ha hallowed be your name. At ito daw ay, ito ay adoration. So, first daw sa ating prayer is adoration. Kasi dinroan nga tayo ng Panginoong Heso Kristo kung paano man nangala. Angin, kaya i-apply po natin. Adoration. Uh, ito po yung, um, we have adore Jesus, uh, the Lord, oh, our Father. And then next is confession, is to confess our sins and ask forgiveness and thanksgiving is to thank the Lord for his goodness for everything he has done whatever you want to thank for this day and for your lives and supplication and then you have to say your prayer and there is a story of a man who lived alone in a little hut in a forest so he felt it was his duty to pray before meals and going to bed. So, nagpray siya ng repeated prayers what he have learned when he was a boy. One day, nagdecide siyang every time na magpray siya, kuha siya ng walnut, yung nut na yon, at ilalagay niya sa jar. So, hanggang napuno na yung jars, marami na siyang mga jars of walnut. At masayang, mas, masayang masaya siya, na self-satisfied siya na siya ay nag-pray-pray. Pero yung pray niya is paulit-ulit lang po na kung ano po yung natutunan niya nung bata pa siya. So, one night, nagkaroon siya ng dream that Jesus stood before him and asked, what is the meaning of all these jars filled with nuts? And then he said, each, uh, each nut stands for a prayer. And then Jesus said, Take a hammer and crack the nuts one by one. He did as he was told and found out not that the kernel or the nuts had dried up and when he cracked all the nuts nothing was left but empty shells so then Jesus said your prayers are empty too you speak words you have been taught but your heart is not in them so brothers and sisters prayers are meaningful when we put our heart into it not just from our lips our father in heaven longs his children longs his children's heartfelt communication with him ika nga ng ating author ngayong umaga vain repetitions are nothing but empty shells 
So prayer is measured by its depth, not its length. Sana po ngayong umaga is mayroon po tayong natutunan sa pananalangin na tinuro sa atin ng Panginoong Heso Kristo kung paano po tayo manalangin. So let us pray. Lord, you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations. You reign forever and ever. You showed favor to us, O Lord. You restored our fortunes. Forgive our iniquities and covered all our sins. Set aside your wrath and turn from your fierce anger, O my God. Restore us again, O God, our Savior. We will give thanks to you, my God, for you are good. Thank you for protecting us and freeing us from the hands of our enemies. You supply all our needs. May our prayers, my Lord, are not in vain. May our prayer lives bear fruit. Protect your words, O God, that planted in our hearts. Turn our mourning into dancing, our pains into blessing. May this day be fruitful to everyone. May your kingdom come. May your will be done today and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.